Hey everybody, this is Lynn from A Bit of Bird Song. I have a really sweet bird journal that is going into the shop right now. You can see that I've just got a piece of ribbon tied around it. This is just gold ribbon and I had this little owl. It's one of those little puffy, puffy charms or decorations. It's probably been six months ago that I had a cover I started on. I had some black velvet fabric and I just knew that it would make a really pretty cover. I had some book hardware and a hardback cover that would be good for one signature. So I covered the, the book and put the book corners on and then I just put it to the side. Leaning out over the weekend, I came across this cover and I thought, oh, I gotta fill this thing up with something beautiful. Another thing that I've been working on is a uh, digital set for the shop. It's called Birds and Flowers. I have quite a few pages made from that or for that. So some of those are included in here as well, like this, this cover page. So I love to fill the bird journals with all sorts of information where you can record your own notes, but you can also learn. Sometimes I learn more just from little quips and little pieces of information than I do by trying to sit down and read a complete book. So there are images in here with different birds. Here is a postcard with the great blue heron. I love that. It looks like some little babies. And then I just love that little illustration. I believe that's from a Christmas card. So going through here, there are just a lot of beautiful images. There's some trim on some of the pages. Oh my goodness, look at this illustration. I definitely wanted to share this with you. And I also wrote down from the art of Matt Adrian. He is a very talented, very prolific creator of bird paintings. His paintings are so beautiful. They're gorgeous. The birds look so real and they just have this soft quality. His paintings are just some of my favorite. Um, so I definitely wanted to put his name in there so you can look him up and look at his work. I like this little image of the parakeets in the cage. There's a guest check and another page of bird images. And here's from an old book, How to, Tra How to Draw Birds. So that's one of those old Walter Foster books. And I love the little images there. This is from the kit. So it's just got a lot of images from my ephemera collection and old ads and things like that. There's a piece of wallpaper and some old lace trim with the ribbon running through the center. So this is a little vellum cut out, a die cut of a terrarium. I feel like this came from Ava. So there are little bits and pieces from all over in this book and I, I love that. I feel like the book covers or the book corners might have come from Jessica at I'm a Cool Mom because I ordered from her in the past um, one of her journal kits and there were um, some little extra pieces of hardware. So I think those might be from her. I love it when you have little bits and pieces from everybody in a journal. So here's another page from the kit that I'm working on. I love this sleeve. Look at the hand holding the berries, and those are raspberries, but just look at that Victorian sleeve. Isn't that just beautiful? There's a piece from an old table scarf, and more images from that How to Draw Birds book. This is from a beautifully illustrated book of animals. I loved this page with the owls. There's some wallpaper with a hummingbird, and I think that plant is called fuchsia. And there's some more bird images, some stamping behind that. And this also is going to be in the kit. A very faint image of a little girl smelling a rose. And there's an old stamp. That's part of the kit, that um, beautiful trim there. So this is fun. This was from the very front of a bird book. And just got this front page. It's got a few of the silhouettes in here, like 18 is the purple martin, 19 is the barn swallow. And behind that, these beautiful hens, and that's from 1907. I have fallen in love with these zebra paper clips. I thought that I was going to be using them just for Joseph's zebra journal, but 
I love them. They're, I mean, look how they tie in with the hens, and they're just, they're really fun. They're just really fun. And more from that, how to draw a bird book. This is a pretty pocket. I believe this, I think this came from Sheila at Boho Daydreams. At any rate, it came from my stash of bright, uh, bohemian, beautiful fabrics, and she has got some beautiful things. Her channel is Boho Daydreams. This is just a little piece of wallpaper that looks a little bit like peacock feathers. So you could write some notes in there. And you can see as we go through, there's a lot of room for you to write your notes, but this could also be considered a complete book. Just a beautiful book to sit down and look at. There's an old piece of music, Warblings at Eve. This is a tiny little piece of that paper that came from a packet I found where a lady was designing her own quilt and her little illustrations are there. This is a piece of scrapbook paper that I purchased new and this is part of the kit that I'm working on. So those are really old images. This came out of a really old scrapbook. And yeah, you can see more of her illustrations in here, the lady who was doing the quilt. And there's some gesso in the center. Um, there's a bird on some wallpaper. Just another little image, part of a woodpecker there and an old stamp. And then in the center, um, there's some gesso and staining in the middle. This is one of my favorite book images, and I'm parting with it for this journal. Uh, that's from a bird book. All oh, the beautiful cages. I just think that's so pretty. So there is the center. A uh, little tab there, a little stamp, and more bird images. Oh, and here, this too is from the quilt design this this lady was totally rocking out this quilt she was going to do. There were so many notes and so many little uh, grids where she had drawn. I mean, imagine, I would love to see the finished quilt. And that's attached to this little page. More stamping, and that's part of the uh, digital kit that I'm working on. That's part of the digital kit that I'm working on. And this is some new scrapbook paper. And you can see there's one of the prong fasteners with part of that large poster I had with a different types of plumes from birds. There's just another pretty image. This book does have a dashboard. I mostly put this in because it was in my stuff and it's so pretty. And sometimes it is nice to have something to lay under a page if you're gonna write and there's something on the next page that you don't want to have in the way underneath the paper little bird's nest. This was a napkin and that is from the digital kit I'm currently working on. This is from a beautiful large um, disposable paper placemat. I had quite a few of those. Isn't that lovely? And there's some ink stamping. There's a little charm. This came from Jay. It says made with love. So thank you to everyone for all of these wonderful things that end up in the journals. Ah, oh, here's another one of my favorite book pages, and I'm giving it up for this journal, The Common Crow. So it's got this beautiful illustration, and ah, it talks about the crow. You know I love my crows. Here is from the digital kit. You can see these really faint illustrations on the page. Just more beautiful images. This is from the kit. And this is one of the pages on how to draw birds and place for you to write. That's some new scrapbook paper. This is a little bird that was already cut out of paper and thank you to everyone for what you've sent. I love it all. I love this little image of the tufted titmouse leaping into the air while arguing with a scarlet tanager at a bird bath. And I know they argue. I've just been amazed at some of the little videos I've captured of birds like fussing at each other in the bird feeders. That's part of the digital kit that I'm working on. That's from How to Draw Birds. There's a little brown creeper. Pretty black and white illustration. That's some new scrapbook paper. I love that it says Passage to India. And here for our crow friends, they love bright and shiny things. So I made this pretty shaker that's made with a little vellum bag. And I folded it over on this side and sewed on some beautiful trim. And then I folded this end to kind of make it stronger. 
and I didn't really want to clip right in the center. I don't want to tear that paper, so I clipped over where the trim is there. And then getting to the back, this is part of the digital kit as well. There's the um, roosters again, and beautiful little birds on a line. I know this came from Jay. Jay, I love these little botanical nature pieces that you sent to me. I love this. I think there is another one of these, so I have to be sure and keep one for my own bird journal. That's so pretty. So that's in there. And then I love this old poem about crows, but let me tell you first on the back, my friend Hillary sent me some scrapbook paper back in the fall when I was in the mood for darker paper and darker things to use. I love that paper. I've used it a little bit, but it's I don't think I've thanked Hillary on one of the videos because it hasn't really been showcased. I've used it, but I wanted to show you just how beautiful it is. It's got the fern there. And then the little poem says, Over in the meadow in a nest built of sticks lived a black mother crow and her little crows six. Call, said the mother. We call said the six, so they called and they called in their nest built of sticks. Oh, I love my little crows. And in the back is just an envelope with some music because of course birds sing and we love bird song. It's one of the most beautiful things. I can't imagine going outside and not hearing birds. That would be horrible. That's the whole journal. This is really a um, I think this is a treasure of a journal. Oh, and let's look at the outside here. So I made sure that the binding tied on the outside. Karen sent me some really pretty things. I have been sent so many beautiful things. Appreciate it all so very, very much. There's one more little piece of paper I want to stick in here. I came across this after the journal was done. Feeders you can make at home. Isn't that adorable? Look at the little socks. I bet they have thistle seed in them. You could just take an apple out and hang it up. Maybe run a thread through it. I want to try some of these things. That looks like half of a coconut. And that looks like a bag that fruit came in. Just think you could fill that up with peanuts or something like that. Oh, I love this whole thing. Look at the um, thread that's been run through the, the unshelled peanuts. So I'm going to just stick this in here as well. I'll put it in there with the uh, dashboard. So that is that journal. And thank you so much for watching. I will put a link below to this listing if you're interested. And I will see you soon with another video. Bye for now.